Hey guys, crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. And we're here with the Godzilla King of all monsters non-spoiler review, where we tell you very unspecific things about the movie so that you can decide if you want to go see it in theaters or not. Yep. What do you guys think? I think it was worse than the first one. Interesting take. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I enjoyed it for its spectacle. Yeah? I like monsters. <laughs> I, I, all right? I, I enjoyed seeing it in, in the yeah. movies just to watch monsters fight, which yeah. is the only reason I came to see this movie. Yeah. Um, were there other stuff other than monsters fighting? Yes, but not as much as the first one. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying the first one was bad. I just There's an observation. There's more monsters fighting. That's true. Yeah. But I was more invested in the human stuff on the first one. Whereas this, it was so boring. See, I felt just the exact opposite. I'm not saying the human stuff was good in this one, but I thought it was at least passable. The, the last one, I just kept waiting. We're like, I want more fucking Godzilla, you know? <laughs> this one had plenty of Godzilla and plenty of, of uh, monsters and stuff. And whenever you would go to the human stuff, I never felt like, oh, I'm wasting my time. You know, I, I, I like they're taking up more time than Godzilla because that wasn't true. So there was more monster stuff, so I felt more sedated. I, or sedated. <laughs> I did feel more sedated. Satisfied. I, I was tired, but satisfied. Um, Hmm. Okay, well, you the thing is, you just recently watched that for the first time, too, right? Yeah, I went through a binge of Godzilla. I've been a fan of Godzilla for some time. Yeah. So I watched Godzilla vs. Monster Zero, Ghidorah, the three-headed monster, and the last Godzilla movie yeah. um, over the last couple of days. Yeah. And I wasn't sure how I would feel okay. about another American Godzilla. Mm -hmm. um, but I enjoyed it quite a bit it did not show enough of the monster stuff definitely but the stuff that was there was amazing yeah and like the fights were very creative yeah. as well whereas in this one i felt they were less creative in some aspects um mm. there wasn't as many oh my god moments really for me in this one hmm. no i i had a lot of Oh my god moments in this one uh but if only because i felt like every frame of the monster fighting was like a painting granted there was a lot of like debris and fog sure. and misty and blurriest to it as well yeah but i felt like that added to the atmosphere more than took away even though i did feel like some of the shots were taken away because of it the spectacle was top tier yeah like and the monster design is absolutely incredible it was just the choreography was a little lacking for me okay yeah in some places sure maybe i I enjoyed um, definitely certain parts of the choreography more than others. Yeah. Um, like, it, it felt like, I don't know, it felt like playing with these where they didn't have as much mobility. Sure. Which is, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a Godzilla film. Oh, yeah. You, you kind of <laughs> want a little bit of that. Uh, I mean, for me, any time is on screen was just like, it's a little awe-inspiring. If only Definitely. because of, like, you know, the composition and the way they framed everything. And they, it really felt like more like more like deities fighting than, go, like, than monsters, the monsters, you know, yeah. which was kind of cool. True. But, I mean, the absolute highlight for me, and one of the reasons, like, if you are at all a Godzilla fan, is go only for Bear McCready's music, mm -hmm. where he straight up just pulls at your Godzilla nostalgia strings, <laughs> which that was amazing. Yeah. I, I, every time... Godzilla would show up and it would start playing, you know, like a, a you know great Godzilla music. I loved it. Yeah, and the sound design was great. All the monsters, yeah. you could tell who was getting hit if you closed your eyes. Yeah, like they all have such distinct, memorable sounds, mm -hmm. which is great as well. Yeah, I mean, I think if if you're a general Godzilla or giant monster fan, you're gonna want to go see the movie. If you're not, there's not like well. You know, they, they threw in a good love story for the girls. I don't like Godzilla, but they wanted to go and see it with their boyfriends or something. There's not really much of that, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a decent story when it comes to the human side, but, I mean, I don't think that's why anybody bought a ticket. Not to say that anybody... I don't think anybody did look bad in terms of the, the acting. No, I, I thought the acting was really yeah. good. Although, I, I didn't care about the characters in this one. Yeah. Um, at least the three main characters, like mm -hmm. the, the family unit. Um, just anytime they were on screen, I was like, Move on. What about, what about Ken? Ken is amazing. Come on, Ken. Ken come on. And Ken is amazing. The villain. The villain is pretty great too. The villain amazing. is amazing as well. As yeah. well. Yeah, <laughs> I, I forgot. Like I watched the trailer. I knew that Charles Dance was in this movie. I forgot all about it until he showed up. I was like, oh, so oh I. fucking yeah. I did too. Long live the king. <laughs> 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 That's so good. 
Anyway, okay. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I I enjoyed the movie. It's not something that I'm gonna go, you know. Call, I'm not gonna call watch my it. dad and say, Dad, I know you don't see movies, but go fuck us in this movie, you know? Yeah. He, he, you know, I'm not, I don't even do that. Yeah. But it was fun. I had a, I had a good time. Mm-hmm, definitely. Yeah. I definitely had a good time as well. I'm not as huge a Godzilla mm-hmm. fan as as Rick is. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but this was definitely an enjoyable movie for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm not as huge of a Godzilla fan either, though I, when I was a kid, I watched, you know, 10 or 12 Godzilla movies. I just don't remember them very well. However, yeah. I do remember some parts, and that's why I'm really anxious to get into the spoiler review, because there's some things where I'm like, wait a minute, are they doing fucking that? What is yeah. that? Okay, so we're going to have to have a conversation about all of that stuff and more, but I think generally that like, we enjoyed it. If you like the first Godzilla movie, um, I, I think it's kind of... More of the same, but more fights, which is what I liked. I, I do feel like the first movie pulled off scale a little bit better than this one. Mm. Um, if only because I felt like sometimes the scale was changing everyone, like from shot to shot. Like it felt like sometimes the bit. monsters were smaller than they should have been, you know? Yeah. Especially whenever you have that like personal moment between a, a human and a monster. Yeah. Sometimes I can feel like, <laughs> how far away are they? Can they see them? Do they care? You know? Right. I try to think, like, if there was an ant and he was looking at me and all the other ants were back here, but he was there to finally look at me, I would be like, that ain't looking at me. You know? So there were some moments of scale that I was like, I don't know where I am or what this means, but I still had a good time. Um, and, you know, I, I, I get hyped whenever I hear that theme song. So. Yeah, I had a good time, but I... Wouldn't go out of my way to see it. I would watch one of the great old ones. The great old ones. It, 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 yeah. If if you haven't seen all of like the top ten Godzilla movies or whatever, that this one doesn't fit in there for me. Okay. Um, although it was still a fun romp, definitely. Where does the 1998 American Godzilla fit in, in the top ten? It's not on the list. It's not a Godzilla movie. It's not like no. a eight or seven or mm. just like Zelda's Adventure isn't a Zelda game, Eric. CDI. Snakes I Revenge get, I get not a Metal point. Gear game. I get your point, I guess. I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's it. We'll see you guys over at the spoiler review, which is going to be coming tomorrow or today if you're watching it on the day it comes out, or it's already been out for a very long time because you're watching this in the future. Time travel. Thanks, guys, for watching this review of Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Mm-hmm. If you want to see more, you can over at uh, patreon.com slash blindwave. Mm-hmm. Check out early access full length. Subscribe. Oh. We do movie reviews. We do commentaries. We do reactions to movies. Vote on what you want to see us over at patreon.com slash blindwave. We have polls. Check it out.